Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel, my channel. So today I am doing my special occasions, special event makeup base. This is focused on technique, a little technique, but mostly so on the products that I reach for when I want to do um, a look like that. These are products I reach for every day and they aren't products i necessarily use together every day i probably use them at different times in my makeup routine but together they're the bomb and i just cannot use all of them together all the time so i just want to put that out there my skin won't handle it and your skin won't, hand, won't, won't be able to handle it either i have um combination skin so this video is perfect for you if you're combination skin like me or if you're oily i feel like these techniques and this product will work really well for you i know the holidays is just right around the corner <laughs> We have events and things to go to, and even though it's cold outside, um, mm. this this um, base that I do helps your makeup to last in the heat. If your makeup won't melt off your face, but your natural oils will come through and look radiant, look like you're glowing from within, look more like your skin and not cakey or anything like that. So um, I did try to record this video before. I'll show you a clip. The lighting was just like messy it wasn't right when i was editing i saw that so this is my second time actually my third time recording this tutorial please subscribe and hit the bell don't forget all the links to my social media how to book maybe in the description box i am a nail tech and a makeup artist so please check out my work and book me like why not so um i know this intro is long but i had to get it out there my background is very noisy so i have to do it in a voiceover look at it to the end please and thank you so if you want to see how to achieve this flawless special occasion makeup base for bomb ass pictures also because we'll be taking pictures this make first things first skincare i did my skincare be sure to do your skincare it's the base for the base you know what i mean <laughs> All right, so I'm using Mayron Skin Prep. It's like a, a toner. I'm just applying it in the areas where I get oily. Um, this is something that you use like for like real longevity of your makeup. You use that in stage makeup. Um, a dupe to that is like the All Nighter Spray. You can just spray that all over your face before you actually go in to prime your face. I'm taking my Milk Primer, and now I'm gonna prime my face with that. And I like using a primer that's sort of like skin like skin care like it sinks into your skin um, And I'm really massaging it and dissolving it so that it will really soak up into my skin I find the cover girl ones from the drugstore are really nice as well It's not a dupe for the milk, but it works really well. It gives it the skin like finish Now I'm gonna set my primer and I'm only setting in the areas where I get oily with a translucent powder and I'm using my damp sponge because it's just going to help to dissolve and push that powder into my skin as well. I use Huda Beauty and Maybelline Fit Me is like a really nice dupe for Huda Beauty powder. Now I'm mixing Tint It All and Estee Lauder Double Wear. Wet n Wild Photo Focus is a great dupe for Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. I mix the two, I love them and they're just great together. So I'm applying that on my face with a flat foundation brush first. Then I'm going in with my favorite foundation brush of all time from Amazon. It's only $10. It's amazing. And I'm pouncing that into my skin. I'm not really like buffing it. I'm just pushing it into my skin with the foundation brush. It's just going to give me more coverage. And in the long run, I'm probably going in with less foundation because it's just going to keep the foundation on my skin. So I'm really pushing it into my skin to create a nice even base. NYX can stop won't stop concealer. This is of a reddish base. I want to use that because I want to counteract any like discoloration on my skin. So I'm using this reddish one first to help get rid of any discoloration so nothing can shine through my foundation. My Tarte Shape Tip Concealer. I love that. My favorite concealer of all time. And I'm applying it in the usual areas where I do conceal. And I'm going a bit lighter because it's the night. In the night, you can maybe just do a little brighter <laughs> with your with your products. And the Elf Comma Concealer is a very great dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I'm buffing that into my skin with a brush in my, you know, um, forehead and chin. And I'm going to use a, a beauty sponge to do the rest. This um, concealer tends to dry really fast, so you have to work with it really quick. 
now i'm taking my stick foundation from colourpop and i like to use foundations and concealers to contour because i'm layering and that just adds more coverage without me layering too much um foundation and other things so we're layering and i'm buffing that upwards with a small foundation brush to diffuse it nicely and create nice definition i'm starting to bring the color and the life back into my skin I'm taking my damn sponge and I'm going over everything, make sure that everything is seamless, is blended and to soak up any excess product that might have been left over on my face. Perfect. Now I'm taking MAC NC42 in the powder foundation and the L'Oreal Infallible one is a great dupe for that. And I'm pressing that in underneath my eyes. Do you see the difference? It gives me this nice smooth finish and I'm using my damn sponge for that as well because it gives me this, it just pushes it into your skin. It's amazing. I'm applying it everywhere I did conceal. This is just extra coverage. And I went back in with a Huda Beauty powder and I'm going to bake the areas where I get oily underneath my eyes, my chin, my forehead, my nose, and I'm still using my damn sponge. I feel like that's very important. Using a damn sponge. It pushes everything in and helps everything to dissolve nicely and again the Maybelline is a very good dupe for the Huda Beauty powder I'm just taking the excess on the sponge and pressing it everywhere else on my face and I'm using a powder in the color of my complexion this is a Sephora micro smooth powder and I'm just setting the other areas of my face can't forget your neck now I'm gonna set my contour and I'm using Fenty Beauty bronzer and coconutty and a big fluffy brush and I'm pushing that into my skin. I'm pushing it, setting the product down and then I'm gonna blend and diffuse it nicely. This is my favorite part, one of my favorite part of the foundation base. I love the bronzer, it brings such life back to your skin and creates such a nice dimension. Love, love, love bronzers. So I'm applying that everywhere I contoured. Now I'm taking my Black Radiance palette and I'm using a flimsy brush, something that's a little bit longer. And I'm taking that color, it's a cooler color. And I'm just applying it very close to the back of my ears and I'm blending it into my bronzer. This is just gonna help me to look more sunken in and make my face uh, more shaped and defined. Alamara Cosmetics Blush Trio. I'm using a fluffy powder brush and I'm applying that onto my cheeks. It's very pigmented, be very, very careful with it. And the fluffy brush just helps to diffuse it nice and spreads the pigment out evenly, bringing back more life to my skin. Ooh, I love it. So I'm gonna use a pomade and a powder. You do your brows however you feel fit, but I feel like using a pomade and a powder is just gonna make your brows stay all night or day. So one part that is utmost important in your brows is always setting your brows regardless as to what it is ever you use in your brows. And I like using the got to be gel, you can use whatever it is a preference, but I'm gonna set my brows with that. It just defines each and every bar here. I brush it upwards and my brows stay in place until I remove it. So I would always recommend you set your brow hairs. Now I'm gonna set my face. First setting spray I'm using is Morphe. This is just gonna help to dissolve all the powders all the powders i love 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 morphe setting spray and when it's halfway dried i'm taking my damn sponge and i'm pushing that into my skin this is helping me to just melt all the powders and everything soak up any excess anything and just push down push the products into my skin taking urban decay all nighter because morphe i'm not sure if it sets my makeup and gives my makeup longevity but i know it makes my makeup melt into my skin but the urban decay will will give my makeup longevity if that makes sense and i'm doing the same thing i'm really pushing it into my skin now that my skin is moist and alive i like to apply my highlight now and i'm using armory's and abh highlight this just makes it pop even more because my skin isn't dry from all the powders anymore and i like layering my highlights when i have special occasions so i'm gonna take Apply it everywhere, as you can see, my nose, my chin, my everywhere, my face. And I'm going to take my ColourPop Loose Pigment um, Powder in pores, I think. And I'm going to spritz my brush with some setting spray and I'm going to layer that. So your friend, your boyfriend, your husband can find you in the crowd. All they got to do is follow that glow. <laughs> follow the glow, honey. So I'm just setting that powder um, highlight that I used first. 
create more glow like i said in the night you want to kind of intensify what you're doing now i'm taking that shaken glow from l'oreal it's more of a dewy set and i'm just printing on the sides of my face and then i'm gonna take my sponge and just melt everything in so i will get this nice glow you don't see where one thing begin or where it ends all you have is a smooth even this can be that final step catrice prime and fine watering waterproof powder remel makes a good one the matte one from remel and i'm just taking a little brush and apply that in the areas where i get oily setting that area down so my makeup stays in place and i don't produce any excess oils when it comes through it's gonna be lovely so that's basically it guys your makeup isn't going anywhere okay guys so this is how i achieve my special occasion special event makeup base this is what i do this is some of the techniques that i use some of the products that i use i will list the products in the description box I will leave all the links to my social media. It is the holidays. Book me. I am a new tech and a makeup artist in Brooklyn. Um, follow me on my platforms. See my work. Please like, comment, share, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell. All that good stuff. It really helps and I really, really appreciate it. And um, let's continue to touch the world one place at a time. And I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye, guys.